Yesterday, we took a bus from Leon to Hia, which is Granada in Nicaragua. Granada is one of the oldest colonial towns in Central America, and it is a beautiful city. So in this video, we thought we would just share with you all of the best things that you can do for your trip here in Granada. So let's jump into it. Good morning, beautiful people! From here in Granada, Nicaragua. This is our very first day here in Granada. So we thought we would kick it off with one of the free walking tours they do in the city. As we all know, free walking tours always expect to be dead. So they're not technically free, <laughs> but... <laughs> The tour is starting at 9 a.m. because it is so hot here. We are already dripping in sweat just trying to get here. So anyway, let's go find our tour guide. So far, this tour has been great. Rodolfo has actually already taught us so much about Nicaragua that we didn't know at all. The city is beautiful. It is incredibly hot. And we even have a little walking buddy. He's been following us since we started the walking tour. He's really cute. So we've made our way into the La Merced Church and we're currently climbing the stairs up in the bell tower so that we can get an amazing view. making your way up to the bell tower on La Merced. It's just one dollar US per person to come up here and the views are amazing. From every single corner of this bell tower it's incredible. You can't see right there but that is actually Volcan Mombacho and it's actually a cloud forest up on that volcano so that's why it's mostly covered in clouds but on clear day that view is amazing. how cruel they were. There was a lot of confrontations in between the two groups, the Spanish and the indigenous people, mainly because the Spanish wanted to change their religious beliefs and they refused to receive that because they had their own religious beliefs, okay? As a matter of fact, you see this wall over here? Yeah. On the side of the road? Yeah. And then there's actually another one the same way on the other side. According to historians, these two walls were built at the time of the Spanish to be used as a barricade to protect themselves from each other. The Spanish were here and the indigenous people were on the other side. In another theory that they were built, the street goes downhill. So it was to channel the water down towards the lake on a heavy rainy season, which they both make a lot of sense, mm. okay? We were just saying that we're surprised to see that Granada is not a UNESCO World Heritage Site because there's a lot of similarity to Antigua and Antigua as you have seen maybe in our previous vlog is a World Heritage Site because here the tiles, the terracotta tiles, the painting of each building has a bright color just like you would see as like regulation when you have a World Heritage Site and it's surprising that it's not. Our guide was just saying that unfortunately there was a bit of a issue with the government not really wanting to be part of that but yeah don't wait for this to be regulated from UNESCO come here because it is absolutely beautiful here so yeah all right on we go they're waiting for me are you guys familiar with um, banana burger oh yeah the totones tostones tostones uh, have you had it no it's the bread it's the smash like plantings yeah. exactly and the burger will be either steak pork or chicken oh they make like an actual burger yeah oh. i'm gonna get some minutes on my phone and i'm gonna show you pictures i'm gonna recommend a really good place i cannot introduce you to him or give you a number because they don't open on sundays believe me the food is good okay we have just finished up our free walking tour here in nicaragua with Rodolfo, who has been so amazing we could not recommend this to our more. We're so glad it's the first thing that we did because he gave us a bunch of tips. We're actually going to put the link in the description to contact Rodolfo 
via Nick Escapes and we'll put the WhatsApp down below. 100% recommend. So we came here to the Garden Cafe for lunch after our walking tour because this is the place that Rodolfo highly, highly recommended for us. He said it was the best food in town. So you have to take a local's advice. I've ordered this amazing looking Buddha bowl. It's massive. We got some drinks. I'm ready to dig in. I'm starving. I got uh, lemonade and chia, which I've seen a lot since being in Central America, but I haven't tried yet. So it's obviously not local Nicaraguan food, but we have been eating a lot of typical Nicaraguan food since we've been here, so we don't feel guilty about this. And this is nice and healthy, which is good. So we highly recommend booking a place with a pool to cool off in in the middle of the day because it is very, very hot here in Granada. <laughs> and we don't recommend being out during like those like middle of the day, hottest part of the day hours. So come back, hang at your pool, have a chill out time. We'll see you later. This morning we've made our way down to the islets here in Granada, which is a huge body of water with over 300 tiny islands that are apparently filled with wildlife in them. So it's very early, it's 6 a.m. and we are going to jump in these kayaks over here with Vladimir and he is gonna take us on a sort of like a sunrise kayak tour, although the sun has pretty much already risen. It's still probably the best time of day to do it. One, for the nature, and two, for the heat. <laughs> Avoiding the heat at all costs. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Get you your coffee and your sunnies. Off we go. For the our history, they were created after several explosions from that volcano, Mombacho volcano. Approximately 25,000 years ago, the volcano was making the explosions through in the whole material into the lake. That's one of the main theories. We have a second one, probably a huge avalanche. A landslide, the whole material was coming down to the mountain, coming to the lake. And both theories are supported because all the material that you can find here is volcanic or basaltic stone. The same material that you can find at the We just learned that because it's wet season, that we can kayak through here and all this water is only here during the wet rainy season. And during the dry season, it's actually completely dry. So it's incredible to see how much water comes during the wet season, the difference that it actually makes, that this would be completely dry. That's wild. And it's so beautiful. Next. I feel like this is so fun for you. A kayak, a camera. Hang on. Mm -hmm. This is like me being my best geek. Your best life right now. <laughs> so I'm just doing bird watching, I guess. Very serious business. It's a big deal. Max's camouflage game. Very strong. Apparently there are crocodiles in here, but not very many. Vladimir said he did see one um, about six to eight months ago, and he hasn't seen anything since then. According to Vladimir, there technically are crocodiles, but they're very rare. There's not very many in here. So I don't think we need to worry about them in these tiny little kayaks. Like we're, we're very close to the water, but uh, should be safe. He's been doing this for a very long time. Hello, monkeys. Nice oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, there's a baby. So, this is an island. They are wild monkeys, nobody brought them here. They swim here? From Mombacho Volcano. We suppose that they are losing their habitat up there because many people 
are dedicated in their areas you know to different plantations like plantain mm -hmm. orange coffee cacao for that reason they are losing their habitat so they are moving to this area ten years ago it was not possible to see how the monkeys on the island but now on several islands we can find them okay so right under this branch are these tiny little bats that honestly you would never have seen i would never have seen these they're so camouflaged so i'm gonna try and get a closer look yeah oh my god they're so cute they're tiny <laughs> that was so cool oh my god they're tiny little things that was amazing that made me so happy <laughs> We just got back after three and a half hours, usually the two or three hours of Ladime gave us some extra time. So it was a wonderful time. We saw birds I didn't even know existed or birds I didn't even know I liked. So I highly recommend if you're a bird lover, if you want to see monkeys, if you just want to explore nature, like starting at 6 a.m. makes a huge difference in terms of the heat, obviously. Um, but Vladimir actually has a lot more to offer, which we didn't know he offers speedboat, um, wakeboarding. But yeah, thank you so much to Vladimir. You know if uh, you want to mention a little something? Well, I would like to say that, uh, you know, make an invitation for everybody that are coming to Nicaragua that if you want to enjoy a unique experience, mm -hmm. so you have to come directly with us because we know the area and we love what we do. All right, we had a pretty chill heat of the day moment and we just walked around town soaked in the beautiful Granada and got some food. And now we have a driver picking us up. His name is Julio. He doesn't speak English, but he's super nice. And uh, he's gonna take us to Volcan Messiah. Tell you more when it's a bit less loud. Rico. Nice. Hola. 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 Muy bien. Et toi? Muy bien. Ah, good. Oh, two. Trois is French. Yes. Et tu, pardon. Et tu. <laughs> The cool thing about this volcano is that when you get to the top of Masaya, you can actually peer down into the crater and I think on a good day you can see flowing lava or like molten lava, which would be incredible. So mean. <laughs> we have just arrived at the lookout point and I'm kind of freaking out because we literally just drove up here and I'm pretty sure right over there is the crater of a volcano because I can see like so much smoke so we're gonna go have a look and I'm kind of freaking out already so let's go look <laughs> oh I'm so nervous I don't know why we look here uh, yeah. up here yes okay no don't look don't look <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a really good first view I want it to be like the best first view I can possibly get. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, you can literally see lava. Wow. This is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. You're actually peering down into this huge open crater and then there's like a smaller crater in that crater and then there's a third smaller <laughs> one in that crater and you can see the lava at the bottom. Crater galore. All this smoke just came up so now it's kind of covering but wow. Y el chico? Uh -huh. Pasó todo el volcán no. en la cuerda. Like, yes. <gasps> no way, they like did a slack line across. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Sin protección. Sin protección. Sin protección. Oh. Solo con máscara de oxígeno. Just to oxygen, no rope safety. Whoa. Loco. Yeah, loco. Yeah, loco. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Julio, our driver, has also turned into a tour guide. Hmm. He's so great, honestly, guys. Hello. We'll put his WhatsApp in the description below because he's just so cool. He's so nice, great driver, and also has a really nice car with air conditioning. We actually feel like so fancy driving around with him. like way fancier than we normally feel it's not dark yet so even though we can see the lava and it's really really cool um we think it's gonna be way cooler when it gets dark so we thought we'd walk up to this viewpoint up here and take a look whilst we wait <laughs> literally never get over this this is the coolest thing actually it's not the coolest thing <laughs> <laughs> it is so cool though this is like just seeing lava like this is amazing in <coughs> in person in real life it's still not dark yet but it's starting to get really red down there wow you guys What's going on right now? <laughs> Try to avoid the smoke. There's a lot of smoke coming out now. And I think the wind changed direction. I think maybe this is what it could be like sometimes depending on the weather. Snash <laughs> dink. <laughs> So smoky there. The longer we stay here and the darker it starts to get, the brighter the lava is. And you can just see so much movement now that obviously it was moving before, but we just couldn't see it. And there is like, uh, like almost like little bursts, like kind of like popping out, the heat escaping. It's crazy. Wow. I'm not sure how many times we've said wow, but I think it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but it really is wow. Sorry guys, I didn't say much. I was just trying my best to record. I think Jacqueline eventually took over on the footage. It's it really, footage. really nice. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Oh my God, we just got parked in. How rude. <laughs> so we actually have to leave now for two reasons. One, we were kind of monopolizing the very best spot with the very best view. <laughs> and. Uh, like it's just not fair to other people like so we just had to leave that spot and honestly we're not going to get better footage and we've already had our driver julio for two and a half hours and it's another like 45 minute drive back to town now so we feel a bit bad we're only paying him 30 us dollars we don't want to keep him up here for too long so we're gonna get him to take us home now so he can go home to dinner All right, beautiful people. As you can tell from behind us, we are heading into another destination. We just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's made this time amazing. And uh, yeah, our time in Granada comes to an end. We are heading to San Juan del Sur, which is supposed to be a very beautiful surf spot here in Nicaragua. So we'll see you when we get there. Bye guys. <laughs>